Hi, everybody. Okay, so today, day 11, I think, we're going to be talking about events. So I know in the beginning, Carrie and I um, had our first big event in like February, I think, and we had started sharing in December, January-ish for Carrie, and we held our first big event in Salina, and we did it with our upline, some sideline partners, and some of our team that we had started to accumulate to different customers and stuff and ambassadors. Um, it was a great experience for us. I can't tell you how much it built our belief in the products. It was amazing to hear other people's testimonies. Um, some people's testimonies, you know, they had told you bits and pieces of the things that were changing for them while they'd been on Plexus, but they hadn't told you the whole story. And so it was so good and so awesome to just see them in person, hear their heart, see their tears, um, and those real stories. And I know in the beginning we went to an event in McPherson. It was the first Plexus event we had gone to. And it was, it just blew our minds to hear everybody's amazing testimonies. It built our belief. We heard from a nurse practitioner and a pharmacist while we were there and how much their belief um, had grown in these products and what they had done for their lives and their friends and family's lives. And so going to that event just built our belief even more. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the different options you have for starting an event. Um, sometimes people talk about having a launch party and we are not a party company. Obviously we don't get paid on parties. Um, we don't have to hold inventory, have inventory and sell things at parties and at that way. But, um, events are a great way to share about Plexus. Um, and I'm going to give you some reasons why they are so great. We have a few different options. We've done all different types of events. We've done in-person events. We've done small launch party events just in your house with a few friends. Um, but we've done online events on Facebook um, where they're just like posting and maybe we do some live testimonies. We've done live events on YouTube and Zoom. Um, so there's lots of different options. It just depends on where your friends are located at. If they're close by, invite them over to your house, um, invite them to lunch, um, whatever it is, just have a small get together with some friends and make it fun. So I'm going to tell you about a few reasons why I think events are so important. Um, number one, which I kind of talked about was building your belief. Um, it's going to build your belief personally as an ambassador to hear other people's testimonies and your customers and ambassadors testimonies. It's going to build the belief of your potentials um, that you have at this event um, because they are going to be hearing from other people from you. They know you're passionate about it, but it's so exciting to hear your voice, your mannerisms, um, your genuineness, and all those types of things when you're talking about the products. Um, let's see. If you go to somebody else's event, this is something that's great too. We are one plexus. So like I talked about the McPherson event that Carrie and I went to, that was not our team. It was not our sideline. They are way out you know, not related to us very closely as far as Plexus goes, but we are one Plexus. So you can go to other teams events. All the events are, I mean, you might message them first and just make sure it's okay. But, um, we've had people from other teams pop into our events. We popped into other people's events. So it's a great way. If you have some events in your area, like if you're not local to us, if there's an event in um, your state or your town, that's Plexus related, you're welcome to go join them. Um, and see how they run a meeting, see how they run an event and get some ideas. Um, let's see. <clears throat> the other great thing about, um, events, which I kind of touched on a little bit, but is third party validation. Uh, when you are talking about the products, it's one thing, but when you have a friend or somebody else also recommending the products and what they've done for them, it just builds credibility. So if you're like, say you're sitting at a park and you are talking about somewhere to eat that night. And one of your friends brings up a restaurant that you've never been to. And another friend is sitting there is like, Oh my gosh, that restaurant is amazing. What does it make you do? It makes you want to try it even more, right? If you have two friends that are super excited about something and passionate and they're working for them, they're going to be even more excited to join you and try the products. So it just provides third party validation. Um, the third reason is because events are effective. They work. It works to get people in the same room, listening to other people's testimonies. <clears throat> um, I, I heard this just a little bit ago and it said that 70% <clears throat> of your message comes from your body language. So, you know, so much of our interaction with people nowadays is through text message, through Facebook message, um, any, any type of messaging, email, 
that sort of thing. Um, we just don't pick up the phone like we used to and talk one-on-one. -on -one. And 70% of your message is with your body language. So people can see how excited you are, how passionate you are, how genuine you are. They can hear your voice. That's why we say the voice text option in Facebook is so amazing for messaging people um, because they can hear your voice and they can hear your passion and they can hear your heart. Sometimes things don't come across the same way in written text. And so I would really encourage you guys to use that um, voice text option in messaging. It's awesome. People can hear, hear you talking to them just like you're having a conversation, but it's on your own terms. You don't have to get on the phone for 30 minutes. Um, it's a really great and it's been a really effective tool for us to use in our business. So how do you make events successful? The number one thing is you have to get people there. You have to get people there. And that's sometimes the hardest thing. We have busy lives and it's not a number one priority. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how to invite and how to follow up with um, your potentials to make sure they get to these events. So it's really important for ambassadors to come to these events and customers to come too because they're gonna learn more about the products. Um, they're going to hear other people's testimonies. They're going to learn how to tell their own testimony to people. And they may think of something else that they have noticed in their life, but maybe they didn't even notice had made a difference for them. Like say somebody's talking about their anxiety or something like that. And they're like, Oh wow, I didn't even notice. I do not have the anxious feelings that I had before. Um, so sometimes when you hear somebody's testimony, it makes you think about your own testimony even more. So let's talk about a little bit about follow-up uh, or invitation and follow-up. So how do you invite people? I'll tell you how I invite people to events. I, number one, the best way to do it is to pick up the phone and invite somebody. Um, just hearing your voice shows them that you care. Don't just invite them to an event on Facebook. Go through your friends list and hit invite, invite, invite without making a personal touch and a personal connection with that person first, okay? So either picking up the phone or sending them a personal text message, not just a copy and paste message about your event, like an actual personal message that tells them how much you wanna see them and reconnect with them and how much you think these products would just go along with everything in their life. Like it would help them in X, Y, and Z way. Um, make them feel special. So do not just invite, you need to connect personally with them, okay? Number one thing, you have to connect personally. Um, this is a little bit of a follow-up pattern that I do for events. So say you invite people, you probably find out about your event, what, two to three weeks out from the time that it's happening. So go through and invite people to your event two to three weeks out. They should hopefully have a clear schedule or know if they have something going on that weekend so they can pencil it in if they want to attend. Um, and then check in weekly from there. Just checking in, seeing how they're doing, seeing if they're still planning on coming. And three to four days out, um, send them another reminder. Even if they haven't responded to your other messages, um, people get busy. It's not because they don't want to go. They may have just seen your message in passing, didn't have time to respond, wanted to check their calendar, that type of thing. So send them a message three to four days out. Um, ask them if they're able to attend and tell them that you're really excited to see them. Um, the day before, you need to touch base again because people forget. People get busy, no matter what. I know I get busy and I'm like, oh my gosh, that event is tomorrow. And I'm so thankful when somebody sends me a reminder message. I do not take offense for it. You're not being pesky or salesy or anything. Like just try to reach out to them and make a touch with them the day before. Um, and if they say they can't attend, don't worry, just find a different way that you guys can connect about plexus. Like maybe say, oh, I'm sorry you can't attend the event. Can we catch up for lunch next week sometime and see what they have available, okay? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. Goal number one is to encourage yourself and your teammates if you're having a, big, a large event to get at least one guest to those bigger events, okay? Obviously, if it's your launch party, you want more than just one guest at your launch party. But if you're going to those bigger events, try to always find someone that you can take with you to the event, even if you have to drive and pick them up and take them with you, okay? Um, some people offer an incentive to um, their ambassadors or their customers if they bring a guest. So offer some type of like a free bag of P96 or another product, X Factor or whatever, or just a gift bag. It doesn't even have to be Plexus related. Just um, something to get them to get a guest to the meeting, okay? Um, don't reinvent the wheel. This is the third thing. <clears throat> you don't have to reinvent the wheel. We have 
I know a lot of people worry about, well, what am I going to do? How do I make a PowerPoint presentation? What am I going to say? What do I need to talk about? Guess what? We have PowerPoint presentations already made up. I have several different templates that you can look at, get ideas from, make your own, use ours. You can copy it and just use it. Um, you can change the slides and make it shorter or longer or add in whatever you want. So we have that loaded into our back office. Um, I'll make sure the new one is up there because I know we've made some updates with the new products. Um, so I'll make sure that new PowerPoint is back there for you guys to use and download and look at and get ideas from. And um, you want to make sure that you are practicing your PowerPoint. Okay, don't just go to your event and wing it, okay? You don't have to know everything, no, but you do need to be a little prepared. So you can practice in front of the mirror, in front of the computer, I don't care, in front of your, in front of your video on your computer, in front of your kids, in front of your spouse, in front of a best friend that you know is gonna come to the event, um, but wouldn't mind listening anyway and wants to be supportive of you. So practice those slides, a few things that you're gonna say. It doesn't have to be really heavy on the info and the ingredients and all the terminology and what this product does. Like just touch on the key points and um, let them take away what they will from the meeting. You don't have to know everything, okay? Um, <clears throat> be you, be excited. And third, be mindful of your guest time, okay? You don't want to keep this meeting super long. You don't want them looking at their clock like, oh my gosh, what time is it? I need to get going or bored. The only thing worse than going to a meeting is going to a really long, bad, poor, poorly organized meeting that takes forever. Um, so get your point across, share your products, be excited and excite the people that are there, okay? A couple other ideas, you can co-host with somebody else if you don't feel comfortable doing a launch party on your own. Um, <clears throat> you can find a sideline, or maybe your upline wants to go co-host an event with you, or a friend or a teammate that you've already got on board. You guys can do it together and um, be nervous together. <laughs> so you can't ever say anything wrong, so don't worry about saying anything wrong. You can always re-say things, and you can always Find answers to people's questions if you don't know the answer to their questions at the time. Don't feel embarrassed because you don't know everything. Everybody has to start somewhere. And I remember I was so I was so nervous for my first meeting and what I was going to say and even telling my testimony. And now I've told my testimony so many times um, that I don't get nervous, but it may not have as much passion and um, emotion behind it as it did the first time I told it and tears streamed down my face because these products have changed my life so much. So be real with people and just, just share these products. So those are my tips for having a good event. And let us know if we can help you. We have lots of templates for like online events. Um, we have tons of different live events you can watch that we've done before. Our team does a lot of live events. You're welcome to invite your potentials to those. But I would love to see you guys do a launch party in your house or in your town at a small venue. Invite a few people and get the word out about Plexus. So I encourage you to go out and do it. Just do it.